I understood that Grady had something important to share with me. Grady, you know I'm an open person. You can tell me anything, I assured her. Our department is organizing a special party to appreciate our successful mission. Clara invited you to join us, Grady revealed. That's great news. But is that the special thing you wanted to discuss? I questioned. No, darling. The special thing is, I want to see you dressed as a girl at the party, Grady confessed. I was taken aback by her request, finding it hard to believe. I never expected such a request from my wife. Are you serious? I asked incredulously. Absolutely, Oliver. I'm being serious, Grady affirmed. But won't everyone at the party laugh at me? I expressed my concern. No, darling. Except for Clara, no one will recognize you as Oliver. Clara is especially eager to see you as a girl. I know you enjoy portraying female characters, and this is a big opportunity for you. I'd love to see you as a girl again, Grady explained, trying to reassure me. Grady's words surprised me. I hadn't anticipated having another chance to dress as a girl. While I was intrigued by the idea, I also felt a bit apprehensive. After much contemplation, I agreed to my wife's proposal, and she thanked me for accepting. Thank you, my darling. I'm really happy that you've decided to dress as a girl for our party. Let's discuss the details tomorrow, Grady said gratefully. After concluding our conversation, we retired to our bedroom for the night, filled with newfound hope. As I drifted off to sleep, I looked forward to the upcoming event. As time flew by, we approached the day before the party. In the evening, my wife returned home from her office, carrying a bag. How was your day? I inquired, we were all busy with party arrangements. This is for you, Grady handed me the bag. I eagerly opened the bag to find a beautiful party frock inside. Wow, it's so beautiful. Thank you, darling, I expressed my gratitude. You're welcome. I think you'll be the most beautiful girl at our party. Your eyebrows have grown, so we need to shape them. I also thought of doing some nail art for you. We can do that after dinner. Now, I'll go take a bath, Grady informed me of her plans for the evening. After enjoying our dinner, we retired to our bedroom. Grady began by shaping my eyebrows, and this time, it was painless and quick. Once my eyebrows were done, she moved on to doing nail art. As Grady worked on my nails, I felt a special feminine sensation. After a few minutes, she finished the nail art, and I admired her talent. That's so beautiful, darling, I complimented her. You have beautiful fingers and nails. These designs suit you perfectly. Now, your hands look so cute, Grady remarked. We waited a few minutes for the nail polish to dry before getting ready for bed. I lay on the bed, enjoying the scent of the nail polish and feeling happy about my nail art. With thoughts of the party swirling in my mind, I drifted into a deep sleep. The next day, we woke up late as the party was scheduled for the evening. We completed our tasks for the day, and as evening approached, we prepared for the party. Oliver, shall we start your transformation process? Grady asked, signaling the beginning of the exciting preparations. I am ready, I replied eagerly. Grady instructed me to wear the panty, hip enhancer, and underskirt, so I followed her guidance. After removing my facial hair and taking a refreshing bath, I adorned myself with the panties, a hip enhancer, and an underskirt. Then, I returned to our bedroom. Grady had laid out a beautiful frock on the bed, along with a matching bra. The padded bra felt soft against my skin as I wore it, and Grady carefully inserted the silicone breast forms into the cups. The weight of the breast forms gave me a delightful feminine sensation, reminding me of my previous experiences. Next, Grady helped me into the frock, which was perfect for a night party. As she began applying makeup, starting with foundation and finishing with lipstick, I felt a sense of excitement building within me. This time, she opted for heavier makeup, explaining that it suited the occasion of a party. She emphasized the importance of adapting our makeup to different settings, which was something I hadn't considered before. After Grady finished styling my wig and adorned me with clip-on earrings and a matching necklace, my transformation was complete once I slipped into the two-inch high heels. Your beauty leaves me speechless, Grady praised, her eyes reflecting her admiration. I owe this beauty to you. Thank you, darling. I expressed my gratitude to my wife. Stepping in front of the full-length mirror, 
I gazed at my reflection. There stood an alluring girl, a sight that even I found hard to believe was my own. This time, the transformation felt more natural, and I realized that I found greater joy in embodying this feminine persona than I ever did as a boy. I think being a girl suits you perfectly. You're even cuter than a real girl, Grady broke the silence, echoing my own thoughts. Her words stunned me, as they mirrored my own sentiments. I was glad that we shared the same outlook on my transformation. I also feel more beautiful as a girl than as a boy, I admitted shyly. Grady continued to prepare for the party, slipping into a beautiful frock herself. After a brief moment, she completed her makeup and accessorized with matching earrings and a necklace. Seeing her all dressed up, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement for the upcoming event. Before heading to the party, we captured several photos together to commemorate the moment. Then, we made our way to the hotel where the event was being held, hand in hand. Upon entering the party hall, we were greeted by a stunning lady who warmly welcomed us. Oliver, meet our team leader Clara. Clara, this is my beloved husband Oliver. Grady introduced me to Clara. Clara seemed taken aback by Grady's introduction. Her gaze fixed on me for a few moments without saying a word. Oh, really? I can hardly believe she's a man. She's absolutely stunning. I'm thrilled by her beauty. Clara finally spoke, breaking the silence. Thank you, Clara. I responded with my feminine voice, noticing Clara's surprise once again. It's unbelievable. You even have a feminine voice. You're just like a real girl. Grady. You're so fortunate to have such a lovely husband. Clara expressed her admiration for my appearance. Our conversation continued, and we immersed ourselves in the festivities. It was a novel experience for me, enjoying a party as a girl for the first time. Grady, why didn't you give your female husband a girl's name? Clara inquired, he does have a female name. It's Emily. Grady informed Clara of my female identity. That's wonderful. Emily, every guy at this party has their eyes on you, Clara remarked. I think Emily is prettier than all of us, Grady added with a loving smile. Throughout the evening, Grady introduced me to her friends as her friend, and we reveled in the festivities until they came to a close. After bidding farewell to Clara, we made our way home. Upon arriving home, we settled into our living room, basking in the memories of the unforgettable day. Today has been an unforgettable experience for me. Thank you, darling. I couldn't have had this kind of experience without you. I expressed my gratitude to my wife. I also want to thank you for your support. I'm grateful to have such a cute husband. I could see that you enjoyed your time as a girl, Grady replied. After our brief exchange, we headed to our bedroom. I proceeded to the bathroom, where I removed my female clothes and accessories, followed by my makeup. Once done, I took a bath and changed into my male attire. As I returned to the bedroom, Grady went to the bathroom to freshen up. After my wife returned to the bedroom, we went to sleep. I drifted off almost immediately after lying down. The next morning, I woke up a little later than usual. As I stirred awake, I noticed that my wife had risen earlier than me. She was engrossed in something on her phone. Good morning, Grady, what are you doing? I asked, rubbing the sleep from my eyes. Good morning, Oliver. I'm looking at yesterday's photos, she replied, a smile dancing on her lips. I sat down next to her, watching as she carefully scrolled through the images. You look so cute as a girl. It makes me happy to see you like that. I know you enjoy being a girl too, Grady said, her voice filled with affection. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time as a girl, I replied, reflecting on the pleasant memories. Why don't you try living as a girl for the rest of your life? Grady suddenly asked, catching me off guard. I was taken aback by her question. It wasn't something I had ever considered. What do you mean? I asked, puzzled. Grady took my hand in hers, her eyes shining with sincerity. Oliver, I'd like to see you as a girl. I love your feminine side. You can spend your life as a girl. I'd like to see you as my wife. I also enjoy living as a boy. I want to be your husband, Grady said, filled with emotions. I can't believe your request, darling. I'm so happy about it. I think I can enjoy my life as a girl more than before. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to you, I replied. 
We both hugged, sharing our happiness. I thought about starting my life as a girl, enjoying life in this new way, and becoming a wife. I knew there would be challenges ahead, but I was ready to embrace them. When can we start our new life? I asked my loving wife. Why not start our new life today? Grady suggested. With hope for our new life, we began our transformation process.